My name is Morten and this is my journey into photographing the stars and deep sky objects. In today's video I will show you how to adjust the backlash on the HEQ5 mount for both the declination and right ascension axis. probably heard of the expression backlash when talking about astrophotography and equatorial mounts. There are a lot of videos out there, also some good tutorials, so I want to keep mine brief and to the point. Backlash is the uh, small gap or spacing in between the teeth of two gears that are engaged but not properly lined up. On the HEQ5 Pro you have a worm drive that is connected to a gear inside the chassis and the worm drive is then connected by two other gears to an electrical motor. And if there's any gap at all between these gears you might experience backlash and that will have a negative effect on the guiding and tracking performance of your mount. If you only move in one direction you normally won't experience or have any issues with the backlash but if you change the direction two gears that are not lined up properly will have their teeth uh, making a small movement before engaging again. Luckily for this mount, it is possible to adjust the tension and connection between the worm drive axis and the main gear inside the chassis. For this exercise, we need the 4mm Allen key to loosen the worm drive we also need the 2mm Allen key for the adjustment screws and we need a Phillips screwdriver for the electronics box. The first thing that you want to do is to check to see if you have any backlash. Starting with the declination axis, make sure the clutch is locked and then firmly but gently try to move the declination axis in both directions. If you're able to do so, like I am here, even though it might not show up on video, you also hear a slight clicking sound and that indicates that there is a little bit of backlash. For the right ascension axis, also make sure that the clutch is locked and then try to move it gently but firmly. Here you can even see a bigger backlash. You also hear the distinct clicking noise that indicates that there's a gap in the gears. There's a couple of things that you want to consider when adjusting the backlash. First of all, you have the engagement of the worm drive axis onto the gears connected to the actual motors. And those you can adjust with two screws for each axis. It's one up here for declination and one below and one down here for right ascension and one in the front below the electronics box. Other things you might want to check when adjusting the backlash is that 
you have from the worm drive axis, you have uh, a couple of gears that connect the actual electronic motor to the worm drive. And you have one for uh, right ascension and one for declination. And those are below this plastic cover. There might be a gap inside between those gears that also can cause uh, backlash. So after adjusting the actual worm drive carrier, if you still have backlash, you might want to open this and take a look and maybe adjust those gears. If you want to further improve the mount, there's also a, a belt drive modification kit called a, a Rowan belt drive kit that you can purchase for this mount. That actually replaces the gears with new belts instead of uh, gears. And that will allow for a, a much smoother and quieter movement of the, the mount. Things to consider before starting the adjustment process is that for each of the worm drive carriers, one for declination and one, one for right ascension, you have three grub screws. And those hold the worm drive carrier in place. Before you can use the adjustment screws up here and down here, you have to loosen these three screws. But make sure that you loosen the screw very, very lightly. When adjusting the position of the worm drive carrier, keep in mind that if you tighten on the top end, the curved end of the mount, you move the carrier closer to the actual gear. If you tighten the adjustment screw on the bottom, you actually move the worm drive further away from the gear. So start off by loosening both screws, I would say, uh, a quarter of a turn. And then start by adjusting this a quarter of a turn in and the other one a quarter of a turn out. Don't adjust these screws more than a quarter of a turn each time because that could be the difference between the gears not being engaged properly and the gears are binding. Binding will actually cause damage to your mount and gears over time and you will have bad performance. So when the adjustment has been done and you don't feel any backlash or moving whatsoever, you can tighten these three screws, but be very careful that you tighten each screw just a little bit and go clockwise. Don't tighten one all the way and then uh, another because that might cause the actual worm drive carrier to uh, be off alignment inside. When that is finished, check one more time 
to see that there is no movement whatsoever. And the adjustment is completed. Take a Phillips screwdriver and gently remove the two screws holding this electronics box in place. And the adjustment screw is located right inside here below the electronics box. Just like with the declination axis, the right ascension axis, you actually move the worm drive carrier closer to the gear if you tighten the rounded side and if you tighten the back side you move the gear assembly further away from the gear. I don't know if this is visible in the video but I have a, a significant gap here so I have right ascension significant uh, backlash right now and this mount is only a few months old but a couple of these screws were not tightened properly. When you have finished with the adjustments and rotated 360 degrees both for the declination and the right ascension axis, you can reattach the electronics box. Make sure that you don't tighten this too much because this is a little plastic box and can't take any force whatsoever. All finished. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing and you can also leave a comment if you want to see me do a video about anything else. Until the next video, I wish you all some clear skies.